developed in Seattle took flight for the first time in Canada. And the hope is to bring it back here. Cairo 7's Matthew Smith explains in two years' time, there's hope you can board one right here in western Washington. Here at South Lake Union, it's not unusual to see seaplanes coming and going at all hours, but you won't see an electric one, and that could all change by 2021. And the company that's behind it all, they say this is just the beginning of a new future. The motor fired up on land just fine, but it wasn't until an hour later when this plane, designed in the 40s, proved that old dogs can learn new tricks. It was uh, amazingly quiet, too. It's a bit of a pity the helicopters are ruining the silence of the thing. True, this remodeled seaplane could hardly be heard once in the air. This roughly five minute flight won't turn heads, but how it's done has already earned its place in history. A small crowd of journalists and locals in Richmond, British Columbia were witnessing the first ever all electric aircraft designed to carry passengers take flight. Asked if they'd be willing to fly in it, there was no hesitation. Absolutely, this is more reliable, I think, than uh, than uh, conventional aircraft. That's the idea behind Harbor Air's big leap of faith. Their goal: to retrofit their entire fleet with the motor designed here locally at Magni X. While jetliners won't be ditching fuel overnight, today's flight proved short flights can be a reality. Instead of a few hundred dollars worth of fuel, costs can drop to a few dollars per passenger. To charge up the seaplane. Of course, they're not the only ones doing this. Companies like Aviation and Boeing are kicking the tires on all electric planes. A reminder that while impressive, today's feat is just the beginning. Something Harbor Air's CEO, the man inside the cockpit for today's flight, said is the point. In 10 years, you're going to see such a transformation in transportation that um, I'll hope you remember back to this day. And if you're astute, you caught that there are a lot of Seattle and Washington connections when it comes to this upcoming electric aviation wars, if you will. In fact, a lot of companies are now looking at Seattle or Moses Lake for their test flights in the next year. For Cairo 7 News, I'm Matthew Smith.